You know, we've been looking for a guy for quite some time and didn't really know where to look. Easy answer. Jump off a cliff. Fwapa. There you go. We're here to make friends, not a lightning rod. Guys, please. You're killing me here. Stay a moment. I need to make sure that he is on the level. Ooh, so we have Tunic of the Depths, which gives us gloom resistance and trousers of time. Wait. Oh, that's really cool. We can buy more of what we want. What? I'm going to assume in case you, like, break the Goron Sword, for example. I mean, I'll take the Goron Sword, absolutely. But, why would you want more than one Cap of the Wild? I mean, because I, I don't think you can sell them accidentally. No? I think so. And also, question, are you getting audio? Yes. I, I'm getting a small amount. Anyway, uh, I feel like I'm going to get Tunic of the Depths because it's a new outfit. Why not? And resistance to gloom as well. Hell yeah. Big Goron Sword, I'm going to hold off on that, but it is nice to know that we can actually get some more. Alright, so now I have an idea what to do now. I want to get another one of these guys. So, let's do that right now, because it makes me wonder what else we could possibly get in this endeavor. Maybe more gloom resistant stuff. Hell yeah. I'm still boggled by it though, you can get many hats of the wild or tunics of the wind. Surely that defeats the purpose of this once belonged to the Link of the Wind Waker and said, no, here's one of his many copies. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I know Link probably dies a numerous amount of times in every let's play or every gameplay, so... Ah well. I'm just gonna tell myself it's there in case you accidentally sell it. But I don't think you could sell the clothing though. I mean, some... I, I sold the original old tattered clothing in Breath of the Wild. You know what? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I guess some people just are careless. I mean, I can't say much. I know I am. But I don't think I would ever sell, like, the tunic of ultimate linkage. Linkage. <laughs> don't know. I mean, like, how could you... How could you sell the pants of the Hero of Time? The heroic pants. All right, sorry about the cut there. Just have sort out a little audio issue. All well and good now. It's annoying it... how headphones are. They work one minute and then, then I'm done now. Yeah, yeah. I miss the same way with wired and Bluetooth headphones. You'd honestly feel like in this day and age of 2023, we would organize headphones, whether or not it was wired or Bluetooth, that we make up headphones that actually just kept on working. Yeah. I mean, as someone who is an audio nut who listens to music and plays a lot of drums, for example, you'd feel like, I mean, for God's sake, it is a blessing in disguise that I've kind of moved on to Bluetooth headphones because I kept on going through wired headphones, like, I say, like, maybe five or six pairs a year. Yeah, same here. It was just always a pain in the ass. Speaking of pain in the ass, if things break, it thanks, battery. <laughs> Oh no, man, you'd honestly feel like in this day and age, batteries or wired things would be a little bit better. Yeah. Even Bluetooth has um, its issue. I cannot tell you for the longest time which I try to connect my wireless headphones, and then one side just refuses to connect. Yeah, I have that problem with the PCs. Like, one side will connect, but the other one's like pairing mode. It's uh. like, you have... I don't know. 
it's an issue technology has. I don't know, man. I mean, one of the ideal setups that I wish we could do is just have our normal headphones connected via Bluetooth, but for some reason, modern day just does not want to allow two pieces of Bluetooth technology to connect at once. Yeah. Because I feel like Bluetooth's been around for long enough that should be feasible by now. Or oh, that's me hoping against hope here. You suck. It's like technology back in the day. It's like, oh yeah, sure. I had my old uh, Nokia phone. I didn't have to charge it for a week and it was still fine. In which, in all honesty, it isn't really a fluff piece because it is true. I used to have an old uh, Nokia phone and it lasted for days on end. Mm -hmm. But ever since, you know, most of be when Apple devices became a thing, the battery life kind of started to uh, diminish. I don't know, but I know it's modern technology and it uses more power than what they used to back in the day, so therefore it uses more power and it gets more expensive for mass production and whatnot and yada yada yada. And planned obsolescence. Yeah, well, I thought that, that became more of a thing in recent years than what it used to do back in the day. Because phones and technology, they definitely are advancing a lot quicker and in a lot more frequency yeah. than modern technology did back in them days. Mm -hmm. Back in the late 90s when, I don't know, a GTX graphics card was like just a simple pipe dream for a lot of people. I mean, my god, look at what AI is able to do these days. Yeah, and AI became prominent in like, what, six months? Mm-hmm. Like, it, man, it went from generating poorly rendered warpy yeah. pictures to now it's able to deep fake celebrities and everything. Yeah. It's creepy, man. Yeah. But hey, technology is new and scary. To be fair, I bet the craze of the internet didn't expect it to be used in this way. Yeah. Coming to you live via YouTube. Yeah, that's what uh, the British people um, back in them days who made the internet expected it. Yeah, just imagine the guy who made the internet, I think Tim Berners-Lee, he's like, he probably made the internet to get, like, allow people to have more access to things and to learn and educate themselves. And then, like, 30 years later, we've got people looking at waifu boobs. <laughs> Truly, the world has come so far. Yeah. In the direction in which it was heavily intended. <laughs> Absolutely was. <laughs> Yep, yep, there he is. Mm. There's Goma. Well, it's Rock Goma, let's just be frank. Okay, buddy, I'll face you. Let's do it again. But for now, I'm just going to get my light route and then, you know. Before I hit to do the showdown. Takarok. These light root names sound like shrines from Breath of the Wild, actually. They do. Okay. I've seen me objective. <laughs> you know, Bo, get out of the way. Uh -huh. That's a Zora. Alright, wrong region, but we'll take it. Now, here's the thing. How's this going to play out? Because we have no roof to, uh, to bounce Shinobo off. And neither does he regarding a, uh, a second form. Alright, Goma. Back you go.
Yeah, he seems to be a bit more on the easy side today. I'd like to think it's because our stuff is better. I guess. That's a sad. <laughs> Hello. This is for all the pain you caused me back in Death Mountain. Okay, fine. You gave me a bit more pain. Okay, I'm getting greedy now. I want to keep on sending, but I need to keep in mind, yeah, I'm still a little bit of a Link squishy boy. Uh, you know what? I think I've got enough. You can run, but you can't hide. Buddy, buddy! Oh, come on! I hope you guys could hear that, but I was spamming the ever-loving hell out of the A button there. Nope, I made a mistake again. Jesus. The problem comes up and I'm expecting it to work. You know, Bo, launch the leg. You miss. Shield. Back you go. You know, Bo, in the meantime, get that leg. There we go. Jesus. Hi, this is awkward. Spikes right to the eye. <laughs> yep. And boy, howdy, is it satisfying. Link it off. I can bomb you. Second phase, here we go. But he's got no roof to climb. So what you gonna do, buddy? Just be angry, same for second verse, same as the first? Pretty much, all right. Go, go, go. leg. No, I paid for it again. Yeah, I'm getting greedy with this. Now you have no leg to stand on. Enjoy, Link! Enjoy! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Now, question is, what do we use? You know what? Yeah. Makes sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> Marbled Goma Hammer with the Master Sword with uh, the Koga Jaw. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna do some big damage right there. Now, where is the chest? There you are. That went pretty well. Yeah. Now, here's a question, and I apologize that you'll have to look this up eventually. Did I ever use Ascend during our first initial boss fight with that guy? 
I don't remember doing so. Yeah, because if that is the thing, then okay, fine. That is my phone. It, it might have made the boss fight a little bit easier. But some of my complaints, I feel like, still stand regarding that. Especially when it came to Yonobo's role in that fight. Still feel like it was poorly designed and not really well implemented. I mean, because all the comments I've seen online... A lot of people don't like the fire temple, but that's mainly because of the temple itself. I haven't seen much complaints about the boss fight, really. Uh, for me, I don't really mind the fire temple. It's simplistic, straightforward. I mean, yeah, sure, it may take some time getting used to me. For God's sake, I had that issue. But I feel like there are worse temples to have. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is kind of one of the reasons why I look forward to going back through other Zelda games just to be like, eh, a lot of people hate this temple. Let's see why, in a morbid fashion. Well, when it comes to, like, the water temple, I don't know in which game, but the reason why people hate it is because it was very complicated and back then you didn't have guides to help you. There's two infamous ones. One is the one in Ocarina of Time and the one is in Majora's Mask. I've seen a let's play of um, the Majora's Mask's um, Water Temple. Mm -hmm. When you look at it in a grand scope, it does seem like a lot to do and a lot of going from this place to another. Mm -hmm. But once you break it down into little bits and pieces, it's not easy to comprehend, but it makes it easier to comprehend. The Water Temple, I can definitely see it tripping some people up. In Ocarina of Time, I mean. I don't know, man. It just really is nice to go back through older games and just appreciate the level designs. I just kind of wish I'd grown up with Zelda. <laughs> I wish I grew up with a lot more games in general because I know I may come on this channel and uh, Twitch channel as well and say, like, I know a thing or two about these games, but that's after I became, I guess, I indoctrinated it. Yes into video game knowledge in some ways because that's when I started to have an interest in the uh, development of the media and just see how things are made. But growing up as a kid, I didn't have access to that many games, especially when it came to the N64 um, era. I had uh, quite a decent amount of like the first party games, like your Mario 64s and your Banjo-Kazooie's and all that jazz. So, you know, I got a sense of how they played, but as growing up as a kid, you don't really think about, hey, this thing is designed really well, and here's how it is really designed. Just, hey, Mario jump and it make me feel good. <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah, um, I guess in some ways I do kind of get what my family was talking about, about me expanding my horizons. Yeah. I still think it was dismissive, my interests, but... I can see their point because I could have I missed out on things like Zelda and Metroid and everything else because of that. Xenoblade. Yeah. It's honestly one of the reasons why now I don't really immediately dismiss games anymore. I just feel like, okay, let's see how this game is. I see people liking it because of this or because of that. It's like, okay, so there is some merit in there. That's one of the reasons why I always feel like, yeah, you know what, this game could be good, or it could be bad, who knows. It is definitely one of the reasons why a game's art style really doesn't put me off from playing something. I mean, like, for example, if it's fun, then hell yeah, I'll play it. Uh, what the hell is that? 
Looks like another mini boss or boss refight. But the only one we haven't done yet is. Oh, this one looks like the Gibdos. This one looks like the Riju one. Yep, look at those pulses. Yeah. <sighs> well. Uh, how many hours do I have? 23. I'll need to make every shot count, but I feel like I can do it. Boss rematch? Number two. Alright, where are you? Read you. Read you, read you, read you. Ready? Fire. Really? That didn't connect. I think they have to be coming out of their pods. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I need to get this guy in too. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm kind of at a loss on what I should do. Because I know I need arrows for this fight. But I... I have such a finite amount. Also, I'm not going to be using this sword. I'm going to go on to one of my... Nope! Yeah. Uh, plus my meal situation ain't that great. Yeah, that's one of the downsides of the depth. You don't can't put things down here. Yeah. Without portable pots, I mean. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm being very, very careless here. on my range. What the? Oh, come on. That's just cheating. Okay, at least it still works. At least they didn't reset his health level. Oh, yeah. That's the one thing I was worried about. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be very awkward having this. Do this again! Second phase! Oh no! Ah, here we go. That, that was my go to. I should get away, I should get away, I should get away. Whew. Now he just needs a pot shot in order to get him on his second phase. That didn't do it. So I thought I totally missed. I think it fell behind him. Okay. Shock fruit! God damn it! Fire! There we are. Now, if these are anything like what they used to be, the Gibdos should have arrows attached to them. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I've got to have wings now. And you don't have pulses of light to slow them down. Well, I do have. Okay. Dazzle fruits do work, but not to kill them. I feel like it's better if I just stick with Ryuju and I take out the respawns. Yeah, I feel like this is the more time-consuming fight, just on the aspect of you having to take out the grunts. Yeah.
And I'm gonna be brutal here. I feel like any boss fight that relies on minions or a wave-based format is kind of either lazy or not that great of a design. Because a boss fight should be able to stand on his own and not just count on, hey, here's a plethora of the enemies you've already fought with little variety. Yeah. All taking pot shots at you, no less. Yeah, it should, because it's basically a distraction. A cheap kill. Or cheap damage. And yeah, especially on this particular occasion, a drain on your resources. In which case, in this game, that's the last thing you kind of want. Mm-hmm. Right, there goes all the little guys. I have eight arrows, and I can use this weapon to take him out right now. Now, I just want to try one thing really quick. Would the Dazzle Fruit have the same effect on him when he's on the ground? Or is he not going to... You know what? Just because that will result in me having to take a chance. He's down. Tassel fruit. Uh, did I do it? I can't tell. I don't think so. No. One sec. No, it did nothing. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Bomb work, though. Zap. Tola, and if you want to be the MVP at some point now, you're more than welcome to. Yeah. I wish Tola could offer us some arrows. <laughs> yeah, that'd be help. It's just like spawns for battles. Like, here, ten arrows. <laughs> Ribcage. <laughs> Ribcage times three! Ha <laughs> ha! Goodbye! Your heart was not enough. All that for probably a large crystallized charge, though. You are right. You are correct. Now, here's the thing. What do I equip it to now? I've got nothing. You can <laughs> do the whole mop, I guess. No. What I'm gonna do... When the time comes... <laughs> that's 88. Now here's the thing. I'm thinking of going to Terrytown with this. So we can uh, deactivate it whilst still maintaining that item. Sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. So, whenever we get a better weapon or a replacement for the Master Sword or anything like that, we have a backup plan. I think it says it doesn't have good durability ability though, so it might be like a rib cage. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, that's another charge on my belt. And. <laughs> I wish we had a charge for that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and. Ah. Uh... We're so close. We're so close. I might as well cap off the episode. Let's see if I can get to that guy. Or am I hoping against hope here? I think I might be hoping against hope because I feel like he might be on the tippy top up there. In which case, great! <laughs> Yep, will there be no Christmas? Did I overreach? I feel like I might have overreached on this particular endeavor. Damn it. 
Well, there's a light route you haven't activated yet. Fair enough. Yeah. I'll do that to cap off the episode, and then he will be mine. But guys, I think on that note, well, two bosses killed. Yeah. Not a bad episode at all. That only leaves the water temple guy. So, good luck with that. You say that to me. <laughs> well, makes sense. Unless I find it and you don't. <laughs> That's part of the fun, though, innit? You never know what each episode is going to bring. But guys, with that said... Thank you all for watching. If you like this episode, then please be sure to like it. And of course, if you want to subscribe to see more, by all means, subscribe to see more. And we'll see you guys next time.